What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. As you can see, we are back on some MX Simulator, and we are playing the most recent RF Supercross track of Denver, and I am recording this video the same day that the uh, real life event is going to be taking place, and I just finished watching qualifying, and oh my god, I hope that Hunter can carry that speed through to the to the main event. It's really, really nice to see him actually at the top of the box for a change. It's uh, Obviously, I feel like everybody loves the Lawrence Brothers, I feel like if you don't like them, I guess you're just really big like Craig or Faulkner fans to the extent where you don't like their competition, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I just really want to see Hunter like continue getting wins. I'd really, really like both of those kids. I think they're amazing. Um, and we shall see. I, I like how I, I always do this before the fact, so I record these videos just before the race, give my predictions and what I would like to see and such, and it, it never happens. It never comes true. Uh, <laughs> I always want to say, oh, I want to see so-and-so win, and they end up doing really bad. I think I've done it a few times with Malcolm. I like wanted Malcolm to win, and he's been out in front and then been taken down or something along those lines. Um, but, yes, we are on Denver today. And I won't lie, I actually find this track quite difficult for some reason. I, I have no idea why. I'm finding it more difficult than some of the others that I would say... Like last, what was the one? So Foxborough, I thought was actually fairly easy, but it seems like other people struggled on. This one, I feel like everyone's finding it quite straightforward, so now I'm having trouble on it. Uh, whoops are a big thing for me this week. I'm struggling in these whoops. They're just a different shape to the normal ones. The rhythms themselves aren't terrible. I'm not hearing any like massive crazy lines. Um, I watched back the 250 main event on the uh, on Kellen's stream, the SYS stream of the race, and I feel like I'm hitting basically the same lines as those guys were. Uh, but I'm just a long way off in terms of lap times. That's not, <laughs> that's not the line whatsoever. Oh god, yeah, I'm just lacking a little bit of a little bit of a flow that I need to try and get back again. And I'm trying to. Well, now I've wrapped up the MX Bike Supercross Championship. I'm just going to be spending a bit more time on sim, and I probably shouldn't be playing as much Supercross as I am. But it's really just because we're in Supie season, you know. Just make make the most of it because then uh, then we leave Supercross for quite a long time, don't we? So it's going to be a long time before I probably do it again, and I'll probably do exactly the same thing as I'm doing now, like video-wise, just uh, hopping on and running a few laps while talking to you guys for the Nationals season. Uh, I have no idea what the tracks are going to be yet, the GP tracks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the AMA as well. I'll see what my schedule's like in, in terms of time because uh, at the moment really only got time to be doing like one proper race a, a week which is the mx bikes one so then if i'm squeezing in a bit of sim as well um i feel like i'm just gonna be a very busy man which i already am so we will see only time will tell um i need to i don't know what the lap times actually were fully however i guarantee that they were a, a lot quicker than 57 i feel like they're probably dipping into the the 40 40 ish range it's a very very short track which i'm not I don't know. I feel I've, I've said this in videos before, where I feel like the tracks are way too short nowadays. But uh, it's, it's just with IRL, they're kind of running out of space, I suppose. The bikes are so fast, so powerful. All the riders are just—they have the biggest balls I've ever seen with the massive rhythms that they hit. And I just—I wish there was a way that we could uh, slow the guys down a little bit to make the lap times a bit longer. Because uh, in a sad way, in a bit of a nerdy way, it does—it uh, does carry over into the racing for us on on our games. You know, when we get into actual races. We just have like a constant stream of lappers all the time where the lap times are so short and nobody can really spread out from each other. Oh god, I'm surprised I didn't get legs off there. Shout out to uh, my new suspension as well. Again, I, I cannot show you guys as I said in my last sim video for uh, just as a sign of respect for the people who have helped me uh, and have asked me not to uh, give it out too much. And you probably, some people might say it's quite sad, but when when you have a game as, as competitive as a sim is in, in the racing scene, I can see why people want to keep a few secrets to themselves. This is not a supercross setup by any means. This is more of an outdoor one. Um, it can take it can take quite a few heavy hits. I mean, so I'm okay casing a lot of jumps here, but it's not got that uh, that pop that you need to hit like some of the really big lines in supercross. So uh, yeah, it's probably probably not ideal. But I'm not one to go switching my setup all the time from track to track. I usually just have one setup and just leave it at that, and I just kind of run it and, uh, and adapt myself. Luckily, there's not any like super huge 250 lines on this track uh, in the very last long rhythm i'm pretty sure you can quad out if you hit the rest of it right but uh, i'm not even hitting the rest of it right so there's no point having a super springy setup uh this whoop section as i said at the start give me a hell of a lot of grief i don't know what gear i really want to be hitting in but i'm just trying to hump my way through it and i hope i survive really that's probably I, I need to just watch or or just sit down and practice like i can't even get that step over there you may, I, I think you're gonna go step over triple and then quad into this corner 
Uh, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I usually am. I don't think you can. Can you triple out of this on a 250? No. Oh, God. That was close. Up and over this bad boy. Deal with the really, like, the awkward flat 90 degree corners on this game where I always seem to slide out on. And then this one. I don't know if outside or inside's better here. I suppose it depends how well you uh, kind of square up the corner and get the drive down to the ground. And I'm surprised as well to see in the race people weren't tripling in here, but then I feel like I'm not sure what they were doing in the rest of the rhythm. If I feel like it might lead to you having to single out at the end, which could be a good reason why. Please don't go over the bars. Oh my god. Get here. I think I saw a, a part of the RF Discord. I think I saw someone put a clip in there of uh, pacing on the 450 going quad quad through that section. I imagine you have to go quite, quite far out wide to do that. Oh, there we go. I got tripling this time. I'm going to triple again. Oh, it's a good downside. Let's try quad in. Oh yeah, that was, that was actually quite straightforward. Never mind, it's just just me being bad. God damn it. I always do this. I, I make things out to be much harder than they actually are. Up the left again. Scrubber doodle down to a 55. Probably still way off. Oh, down to a 54 now. One thing that I don't do on Sim right now is have like a proper like a longer session so i sit down and do these videos for you guys which they take like a maximum of 20 minutes or so because i don't do those really long time trial videos anymore just because i'm pretty confident in, in the fact that i could qualify for uh, for a pro race now without having to spend or oh, having to spend too long i feel like i've got to that point at least it's just not right up with the top guys um but yeah the, only, the times that i'm really playing are these like 20 minute or so recordings um so i need, I need to kind of sit down and do maybe like a even like a two hour or three hour kind of session on the weekend just to really get that flow going and really bring that muscle memory back because as i said I've, I've wrapped up the mx bikes championship now so i'm going to case the hell out of that and survive it no problem thank you suspension again really bailing me out on all these so i do have more time to play with i'm still going to be doing the um the mx bikes races for the rest of the season but there's no there's no pressure you know i haven't got to like get a certain position it's already done it's already wrapped up and i think i'm gonna go as far to try and ride the altar or something silly for a race i, I did want to ride a two-stroke um but we can't ride them in the championship at the moment uh, the only the reason being is it's in the um rules of the championship for the for the sole reason of it gives the server less bikes to have to load um that's Obviously, if you're here only for MXS content, you might not have played bikes, but the uh, the server side of things are a little bit lacking at the moment, not quite as refined as Sims are, so we have to kind of take things as easy as we can, or easy as possible as we can on the servers, just to give them the best chance of not dying on us. And it's, it's been okay so far throughout the year, but it would be nice just showing up on a, uh, a 250 two-stroke or even a, a 150 two-stroke like KTM 150, because that's in the MX1 class for some reason as well on that game, even though I feel like it should still fall in with the MX2s, but I I don't know, I digress. I don't know what the ruling is IRL for that, but it, actually, I mean, one of you guys will know in the comments, you always do. Let me, can you like just leave a comment, let me know where the one the 150 stands, because I'm pretty sure the 150s nowadays ride with the 125s as well. I think it's just one of them things where they're not really as competitive, well, they're not, they're not as competitive as a 252 stroke or a 454 stroke, for crying out loud. I mean, there's a hell of a lot of difference there, um, but yeah, do. Do let me know. I've got this race set to 10 laps, so we've only got one and a half laps to go. Uh, I don't feel like this has been as terrible as I expected going into it. I've, I've kind of got through the whoops for the most part, although this is, I guarantee this is a lap where I crash now. Oh no, that's probably the best I've hit them. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it's definitely not as fast as I would like, though. I see people absolutely blitz, blitzing through those so quickly, and I just haven't got that, uh, not got that confidence as well, really. I haven't got the speed. And as soon as I feel like I do have a little bit of confidence going and speed and I try pushing it a little bit further is when the back end just completely comes out on me. Uh, I have no chance of recovering and it just throws me to the ground. Uh, again, it, it, it's a variation of things. It's it's muscle memory, it's technique and it's suspension all, all kind of combined in one. Oh, please turn around. Thank you. I feel like I'm running kind of consistent 55s now, although not, not this last lap, obviously, with... <laughs> with that issue there. I have no idea what the average race pace was. I say that I watched the race, but I didn't really pay attention to the laps. I was just there watching the uh, watching the guys battle it out. And I feel like the racing on sim at the moment is actually pretty good from a um, from like a viewer's perspective. Like the racing's really, really close. I feel like it's where all them top guys are so, so close together now. There's really not, not much other than a really good start that separates them. So if they do all kind of get out on the track at the same time, it just makes for a really, really good race. And so there's a bit of a, a bit of drama uh, going into this this round that's just been where uh, Braden got docked five positions and having re reviewed that I feel like it's a little bit sad the um, 
well, what is it? I feel like the protest itself was a little bit sad, like clutching at straws just to try and gain any sort of an advantage. And I mean, if it's a championship, fair enough. I mean, I know the F, like in F1, for example, the teams just kind of clutch at straws to do any little protest they can to try and get people dot positions. But it's a bit sad, you know, just do the races on the track. Um, if anybody hasn't seen it, Braden kind of pushed wide in turn one during the race and that allowed him to hit a like slightly faster line into the first rhythm section. Uh, however, the people that he was beside going into turn one also hit that same line. Uh, so he didn't really actually gain anything from it, but you know what? Uh, it's one of those things, the, the sim racing community is uh, its quite intense, it, it can be toxic at times and it can be certainly interesting, people make enemies very easily, uh, you get alliances, you got team tactics and all sorts and I will try and uh, I try and stay out of it as best of my abilities. <laughs> I mean when I'm going to be shut up for racing I'm just going to show up, do my two motos and then disappear again, I'm not going <laughs> to not going to hang around too long, not going to get involved, I'm not going to try and get tied up in any drama at all and uh, hopefully that will keep me uh, keep me hopefully stress free and as happy as possible and I hope you've enjoyed this video, I'm sorry that I feel like the speed is definitely lacking today, as I said at the start. I don't know why I feel so like average on this track, but just some some tracks I enjoy, some tracks I hate. It's not, it's not the end of the world if I'm not absolutely rapid on everything. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do drop a like if you did. It's really, really appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you guys are up to. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time, boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king, honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want, I got salt.